Hi guys, welcome back. So I had a little bit of time to film um, on Sunday and so you guys will see me like this the whole week if I can get up two or three videos. Um, but I had a little bit of time and I wanted to sit down and do a chat spat for you guys because I feel like we haven't really done one in a while, especially with the breaks I've been taking for the holidays and my son's birthday. So I wanted to talk to you guys about a few things, some things that irk me basically. But I really do want to try when we do chat spat, if we talk about negative things, which is what it usually consists of, that we try to find a positive spin on it, especially of late. So if you guys want to see what we're going to talk about and what I think about what we're talking about, then just sit tight and we'll get right into it. Do you want to stay? Don't you, don't, don't you want to stay? Because I don't want to chase or make you make the same mistake. Now the first thing that I want to talk about is something that I actually saw Sanders Kennedy talk about and in one of his recent videos and this actually really pissed me off and I couldn't help but feel some type of way about it and I mean Sanders was pretty you know against what they were talking about and the, one of the big reasons of what irritated me about it honestly but I see it as ignorance from his side because he's not a parent so what this is about is people who are not parents judging parents and parents judging parents it irritates me beyond anything to see somebody judge a parent now what this was about was these two children who look to be twins or they are extremely close in age they're in their pajamas they're in their 90s and you can see that the room is very clean and very kept up um there was cribs in the room and it looks like they had just woken up and they were playing and there was a bookshelf and then the one of the toddlers had the bookshelf topple over on top of him and then you see the other toddler push the bookshelf off from him so sanders is talking about this situation and his overall perspective on it was that it was the mother's fault if she wasn't watching her child 24 7 she shouldn't have one that is what she's what he said and then he compared those children to his dog and how the shop for the dog told them if you can't keep an eye on your dog 24 7 then you shouldn't have it now I love Sanders I really do I support him fully but we're all different we're all gonna have different opinions and I disagree with his perspective on that um, respectively 100% and maybe it is because I'm actually a parent and it's just all the judgment I saw in the comments the judgments I saw from him it just it hurt me upset me and I wanted to talk about it because I know that so many of you are parents and it's been a while now since that video has gone up and all of that and I'm still heated I'm still heated over that shit because it's bad enough that we all have to be so politically correct these days. Everybody is such an oversensitive prick these days and you have to make everybody happy or at least die trying these days, you know, for the judgments to go as far as people who have nothing to do with that kind of lifestyle or no experience in that lifestyle to judge other people fully like that really irritates me really irritates me especially coming from someone who I, no i'm not gonna say that so get back to the point so there was a lot of people who were saying that it was the parents fault and then there was a lot of people saying well how the hell do you watch over your kids 24 7 that is where i'm at okay you cannot watch over your child 24 7 no way in hell unless you are one lucky sob are you going to have your child go from 0 to 18 years old without getting a scrape bump bruise anything it happens you absolutely even if you are two parent home cannot watch over even one child 24 7. you just can't you have to sleep you have to eat you have to clean you have to give that child some sort of independence a doctor will sit right there and tell you do not hover over your child being a helicopter mom which is something that i've tried does not work and is not good even emotionally or mentally for that child you're going to get a very emotionally dependent child and when you are to try to bring them to school you're going to have a horrible issue trying to get out of that building and there are a lot of good and bad things that happen and it looked to me where the room was immaculate it was clean it was nice it was tidy there was cribs they were toddlers they were in their pajamas 
and people are like, oh, how didn't they hear on da 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 And it's like, you guys have to realize a lot of things here, okay? If you first stop and take a breath, have a little understanding, compassion, sympathy, any of it at all, you would see one, these people had monitors. That's why it was filmed. I don't even have monitors for my kids, and I'm not a bad parent. So right off the bat, if they're monitoring their children, they're going above and beyond. Second, your toddler can go from not being able to cl climb out of a crib to the next day climbing out of everything. They are ninjas, and it happens like that, and you don't know. So they probably could climb out of their crib and the parents either weren't aware or that's why they had the monitor, which I'm sure was connected to their bedroom. However, they were probably sleeping since those kids still had pajamas on. It makes me so mad how people can judge these parents so harshly, where Sanders even said that they, they needed to be investigated by CPS. If people had to be investigated by CPS for every mistake that they made with their children, CPS would not have a life. They would be in every single home where there's a parent and a child 24-7. Mistakes are made. Things happen. And those parents put that up on the internet to try to provide an insight to other parents that maybe these kind of mistakes can happen. Maybe you should think about, you know, nailing your furniture down to the floor or the wall or something like that, which is which is something that not a lot of parents, especially first-time parents, will think to do. So I thought what they did was very helpful. And they put themselves up there to be judged and judged harshly by a lot of people. And there was a lot of people who were not parents that were just tearing these people apart. And I'm just like, do you know these people? Do you know them? Like, do you, like, see them every day? Do you give them hugs? Like, do you know what their bank account looks like? Do you know them that well that you're judging them like that? Because if you don't, shut the fuck up. And that's exactly how I feel about it. And then there was other parents that were judging them because everybody's a critic and everybody is a professional and an expert at being a parent. And I hate it. It hurts my heart to see other parents judge other parents. Now, if you see absolute neglect, absolute abuse, if those children are 100% so obviously malnutritioned, yes, do something about it now. Go. Do it. Because if you don't, then it falls on you and it's your fault too. But in instances like this, just have a little sympathy. Have a little sympathy because even if you want to compare a child to a dog, which you can if you want, um, if you want to do that, if you want to say you're an actual parent because you have um, an animal versus a child, 100% for it. 100% for it. But do your dogs not get into the garbage? Do they not go to the bathroom on the floor? Do they not chew up your shoes or your furniture? Do they not do things in the night when you're sleeping that you'd be like, oh shit, now I have to wake up and clean all of that up? Yes, they do. Yes, they do, unless you're caging your animal so they can't get out. Can we put a child inside of a kennel? No, we cannot. Now, to put a more positive spin on this whole situation, I feel like hopefully it all comes down to parents and other people who even aren't parents just want to see children safe. It's all about keeping children safe. Some people's opinions of safe and accidents and stuff like that could be more lax than others and some are just more uptight than others and we're all different. And I think that, you know, positively it's about the children. And let's hope, fingers crossed, that a lot of these people judging are not judging just to stir up, you know, harsh emotions or just to put something negatively on someone else. Let's hope that it's morally for the children. So that is how I felt about that. I felt very strongly, but I want to know your guys' feelings as well. Please let me know. Are you a parent? Are you not? What are your feelings on this? Do you think that those parents should have been investigated by CPS? I mean... If I can find the video, I will link it down below so you guys can actually look it over and see for yourselves and decide for yourselves what you think. But I just felt like these parents were judged way too harshly for trying to help other parents on things that can happen because you would be surprised. Surprised. You could think that you're 100% prepared for a child and they will surprise you with the shit that they will get into and the things that are very dangerous for them that you never thought about. So I thought they were trying to be helpful and they got bashed in a very negative way and I'm just so sick. So sick of that kind of stuff these days. Everybody is so uptight and so sensitive and so quick to call others out. Like look at their closet. Look at those skeletons. Oh let me close mine so nobody can look at mine but look at theirs. Come on, people. Let's grow up. Let's grow up. Let's act like adults. Let's worry about ourselves. 
Alright, and the next thing that I wanted to talk about was something that I saw and I've seen some strong opinions on this and I just really want to talk about it. Now this is Manny MUA being a brand ambassador for Maybelline with the, what is it? I know I have it here. This right here because I just filmed a haul on it. This is the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. Him and Makeup Shayla are the ambassadors for, I don't know if it's just this product or Maybelline Altogether, but I think it's Maybelline Altogether because people are making a huge deal out of the fact that Manny MUA is Maybelline's first male ambassador. And there are a lot of people that are wigging out about it because Manny in the beauty community has been labeled by a lot of people as a bully. Do I feel like he's a bully? Yes, I really do. I feel like he's an asshole. And that's just my opinion. That's my opinion on him. That's my experiences personally with him and things that I've personally seen him do to my friends and to other people I don't even know. I've just seen how he's treated others, how he treats people on Twitter, how he treated me personally, everything that has gone down. To see him so... <laughs> I'm not going to say that I didn't roll my eyes when I saw it. That I wasn't just like, <sighs> And I need to tell you, I did watch recently a video from Karina who probably was affected negatively by Manny MUA in the most, in the beauty community, the most. So I feel like she has the most right to say anything about this. She was so level-headed about it and so neutral grounded when she talked about this. But everything that she said was dead on and I will leave her video down below for you guys to check out. The truth of this all you guys is for one I've said this a million times but these people get these opportunities because of you. Because of you. They grow big. They have huge opportunities. It doesn't matter like I've said a million times before if he was kicking babies. Maybelline, L'Oreal, all of them, they would still hire on these people based on their numbers, based on business only, based on the fact that he's going to make all of you, everybody that's like, what do I get today, Manny? What do I get today? He's going to make y'all go out and buy this. Yes, he is. He's going to make y'all go out and buy it. And I didn't buy it for him. I bought it because it was new and has a ton of claims and because I honestly wanted to support Shayla. Because she's had a huge loss in her life recently, and I really like that girl. I think she is 100%. I like her. I like her hustle. I like her grind. I like her as a person. So that is why I love that Shayla is behind this and that she was hired on as an ambassador. I'm so proud of her. The whole Manny thing, I really feel like it's just numbers. It's just numbers. If they went off like morals and dignity and integrity, he wouldn't get hired for shit. And I also, and I don't want, I'm going to upset people with this politically correct, you know, like nobody can have an opinion, um, but I, I need to say it. And I feel like um, hiring on male people in the beauty community into the drugstore world now with Maybelline and CoverGirl and all that, it's becoming a fad. I feel like it is becoming a fad. Like it's a thing now to be a male makeup artist or be a male in the beauty community in the makeup artistry world. And as much as I, I love that, I love that that is happening and that people aren't so stuck up with that kind of stuff. It also seems like a lot of male MUAs that may not be as deserving as others. I've seen a million others that are more deserving, that work harder, that are more honest, that have a lot more integrity, most likely get passed over because of numbers. And that's what I'm morally upset about here. Not that males are in the community and it's more of a fad, but it's, they're not doing it right in my eyes. I don't feel like I feel like they're just like, oh, well, he's a male. I'll just grab him. You know, like, he's just a male in the makeup artistry and in the makeup art world, and that's a fad right now, and that'll make us, you know, that'll put eyes on us, and that'll make us trendy, and that'll make people happy, so we're just going to grab anybody, and he's the most popular right now. Because you guys know that Patrick is probably way too busy for that. So I just feel like they're just grabbing somebody. The most popular person who's not already signed on a contract with another company. And I feel like that's what they did when there are so many other male MUAs that are still rising or are already almost there. They're just being looked over. And that is something that I think I'm the most irritated about with this. But on a positive spin, male MUA, regular MUA, just beauty influencer, any of the 
any of it. We're all YouTubers and I'm on a positive note I am happy to see that any of us are getting these kind of opportunities so I am happy for Manny in that sense that he is getting an opportunity to do something else. Uh, I hope that he will now maybe tone down how he is because I'm sure that if he's had to sign a contract with Maybelline that they're probably like hey calm it down a little bit at least I hope. There has to be some level of professionalism there, right? Just a little bit. But yes, on a positive note, I am happy for anybody who gets these amazing kind of opportunities, especially someone from YouTube, because that means that there are more opportunities. More companies will see that and more companies will come here to YouTube, which means more opportunities for all influencers. And that is something that I am very excited about. So I am very happy for them. I just think that they could pick better. They could pick better. So that is everything that I wanted to talk about in today's chat spat. If you guys have any opinions on either topic, leave them down below in the comment section. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!